What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at something I am super excited about. We're looking at the HTC Vive. Oh. Okay, so for those who don't know, oof. so for those who really don't know much about the HTC Vive, this is, I arguably, uh, arguably, the revolutionary staple in virtual reality technology as of right now. I'm gonna go over uh, just a few specs and um, I couldn't remember all this stuff, so I'm actually pulling it up on my phone. So first off, uh, it's OLED display. Uh, resolution is 2160 by 1280. The refresh rate is 90 Hertz, 110 degree field of view. The tracking area is 15 feet by 15 feet. It does have built-in audio, built-in mic. It has tons of sensors. It has an accelerometer, it has a gyroscope, uh, it, a lighthouse laser tracking system, connections, HD HDMI, USB 2.0, and USB 3.0. Enough with the specs, let's just open this thing. Oh, oh boy. Oh God, it smells like victory. It smells like creative, evolutionary, uh, technological revolution. It smells like factory workers. Mmm, armpit sweat. So first off, you've got two of these fantastic sensors. These are the room laser sensors. These are what's gonna find you and then uh, put you in the virtual world. There's multiple types of mounts for this. I believe this one comes with the mounts that actually go on the wall. What I did in my case, you can actually buy the stands for them, um, which is very similar to like studio lighting stands. When we go set this up, I'll show you those. I'm gonna set these off over here. And then I'm also gonna take the headset out. Just setting it off to the side for now. We're gonna get to it. And then down here, oh yeah. All right, I'm just gonna set all this stuff off to the side. Is there anything in here? Holy cow! Mounting kit, your other cable, another cable, another cable, all kinds of, oh my god, there's so much stuff. So first off, you've got the link box. Now this little box is what connects everything to your computer. So you've got your DC in, you've got your USB 3.0. This, I believe, is what you're gonna use to connect your headset? I think. Then you got your HDMI port. Then on the other side, you've got HDMI, USB 3.0, and of course your DC in. Look at this! It comes with earbuds. I honestly didn't know that it came with earbuds. Oh, those are nice too. They have the, the little ergonomic curtain, a nice short cable to connect directly to it. That is one of the DC adapters. There's a total of three of these DC adapters. USB to USB cable. Man, this thing takes a lot of cables. Micro USB cables, HDMI, USB, three of those, earbuds, link box, extra cushion, DC to uh, USB adapter. There we go, there's two of those. It's pretty much a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, but I think this is the link cable. All right, so here is the controllers. Now, these things are freaking awesome looking. I'm gonna set this one off to the side. And they've got this cool, thick uh, nylon band that you put around your wrist because God forbid you throw one of these things. I'm thinking here you've got a menu button. This is another sort of, maybe a, I just turned it on by accident. Oops. This, I think, is a touchpad. It also clicks, so this is gonna be multifunctional. And then these, I'm, they're buttons, but I'm not sure exactly what they're used for. Maybe for gripping things? I'm not 100% sure, but your majority, from what I've seen, a lot of gameplay, a lot of people pretty much use that trigger in the back. Now, on the bottom, you've got your micro USB port. That's gonna be for charging. All these dots, this, and you're gonna see it on the face mask, too. Um, all the dots is the sensors. These feel cool. They're a little bigger than I thought they would be. God, I can't wait to turn this on. Matt, shut up, get to the headset, and start playing. This is the brains of the operation. I guess the brains would really be my computer. But either way, here we go. Oh, God, I thought I'd never hold one of these in my hand. Right off the bat. On the front, you've got the front-facing camera. When you're actually using this, there's an option to where you can actually turn that on and see through this, through the camera, so that way you don't have to keep taking off the headset. How cool is that? Now, on the top, you can see where all the wires are coming out. One of those wires is a very short one, and that is your 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and that's where you plug in your headset. Then you have the long cable, and I believe it's about 16 foot long, but on, on this, you've got your, looks like your DC, for power, because you're gonna need power. Then you get your USB and you have your HDMI. So on the side, you can see where the strap actually connects to the face unit itself. The materials made on this head strap is seriously thick. You can actually adjust these. It's got the nice little Velcro, so you can adjust it to fit you just nicely. If you wear glasses, 
you're fine. You could actually use one of these because see this cutout right here? That's made for glasses to fit through. How fantastic is that? These are the lenses um, that basically bring the magic of the OLED into your eyes to make you feel like you're in the world itself. Wow, that is super comfortable. Do I look cool? I know. <laughs> You don't, you know what, you don't even have to tell me. It's way lighter than I thought it would be. I mean, you're gonna, I do notice, you know, there is some weight on the front of my face. I can see maybe my neck muscles getting a little stronger, but uh, who doesn't want neck, stronger neck muscles? Let's go try this thing out. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to test it out here, so we're gonna have to go in there. So, uh, let's go. Ugh. Oh, oh, the stands that I got, and I'll link them down below, are these stands right here. So once you have the sensors set up, you put them all the way up there real high, you can see it's turned on, and it's an extended kind, so it's on a big tripod, big mass, don't pay attention to it. But either way, let's, uh, let's do this. Oh my god, there's earth right there. Or, yeah, it's earth. Look at that, you can see the actual controllers, and not only that, but once you're in it, you can actually see the battery life on them. Now in real life, that's not actually there, but in the virtual world, it shows you how awesome is that. Now when I put my thumbs on the trackpad, you can actually see where my fingers are at. Yeah! Got him! Yeah. Didn't get him. Woo! Look at that. Oh my god, it's like it's right here. Fire! I just set my arrow on fire! Who wants it? Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, you could like stand on the edge. I feel like I'm standing on the edge of something. Whoa! Right there, so and welcome to the Robot Rehabilitation and Wellness Center. Our records indicate that you are the inaugural participant in our Human Diversity Outreach Program. This is incredible. The graphics on this thing is amazing. Oh, I didn't do it. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my! All right, guys. Okay, do I, is my hair? Is my hair all right? My hair's not all right. This thing is incredible. You feel like you're in it. You feel like you're actually in it. You know it's not real, but when you when you see it in front of you, you want to touch it. If you guys haven't got one and and you can and you can get one, I definitely suggest getting one. Um, this thing is freaking awesome. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. You guys go check it out for yourselves. But either way, get out of here, cause. Uh, I'm going back into the other world.